everyone, just a quick update today. Tools at 273 hours, doing well. Got some mail today about how long we expect the tool to be running. You'll just have to wait and see. That's the point of the event. Is it close to the end? Got to stay tuned to find out. Um, if you're tuned in this morning, you saw there was about a 10 minute break in the milling. And that's because after eight days, the can uh, does what's called a boxenstopp. I'm not sure what that's called in English. I'm sure someone will write me. But essentially it stops and does a self-diagnostics, make sure everything's where it's supposed to be, everything's calibrated. And you saw Tilo come in and do that. Uh, I'd also like to take a quick second to mention that the entire Tesha team is on holiday break this week, but you see people going in there every day to check that everything's where it's supposed to be. And so I'd like to thank the team there uh, for doing that. They've been awesome. I'd like to end today with just a little bit about what I said yesterday. Now, when I was playing the interview with me, uh, it's a video that I haven't seen in a while. And at the end of it, I remembered that I mentioned um, learning the maker's stories being my favorite part. So I quickly went around the office and grabbed things that I had in my office to show and give some shout outs to people. I, of course, missed a ton. Uh, got a couple mails from people. Um, so I'd like to take this opportunity to give a couple more shout outs, uh, both on dental and the industrial side. And these are people that not only post cool pictures, but in their stories give behind the scenes look of what it's like to run the business and make the products that they make. Um, for instance, on the dental side, CAD Data here in Germany, mussen ein Jackentausch machen demnächst. In Portugal, my friend Bruno at Dental Evolution does a great job. Here in Germany, also Borodent, Hermann, hi. Uh, in Italy, Sean Wilkinson, uh, Incisal Dental Lab also does a lot of beautiful videos. Um, and then my friend Daniel at Hofmann and Lida here in Germany. They just recently did a post where the machine was full of uh, chips from PMMA and it looked like snow and they did a little Christmas greeting. Very clever. And on the industrial side, I cannot believe that I didn't mention E. Kramer yesterday. Uh, Eddie, my deepest apologies. He actually received the first uh, iguana tool in the US. I think it was a flat tool, Eddie, am I right? Um, but he's been milling with that since last year, if I'm correct. So yeah, can't believe I didn't mention him. Apologies, but there's a ton. Uh, Seven Solutions shows a lot of cool milling. Uh, Nicholas Hackowatch, if I'm saying that correctly. I believe he was in Australia, but he shows a lot of cool stuff, like making these micro parts for the watch, and then also does a lot of explaining for the non-machinists about uh, the different important aspects of machining. Really cool. Um, Rinhorns, my buddy in France, also working at a small shop, constantly building out a shop. It's been really fun to watch. Makes a lot of small, small products. Uh, designing Berlin. It trinken ein Bier, they mixed. Also makes a lot of cool stuff. The Irish maker, also uh, bigger Instagram accounts like Grismo Knives. I saw that they recently delivered Can, uh, their own custom rask. Um, but also the UK machinists, Justin Collier, Predator Cycling, Madsen Machine, uh, some people that I also don't know, like um, Yates Precision Razors, shows a lot of behind the scenes of the razors they make, really cool. And then there's bigger accounts like uh, Titans of CNC that uh, have like 175,000 followers and massive machines, really cool to watch. I'm sure everyone knows that. And even other tool makers like Eshed Tools in Israel, they have a lot of really cool photos of tools. So go check them out. Like I said, if I'm missing people, send me a mail, send me a message on Twitch, Instagram. Um, it's really fun to watch these people every day. So that's all I wanna to say today. Enjoy the milling and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.